a second. Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> it got me awake. This is, uh... It's 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> 3 in the morning. Yep. I got back late last night, yesterday afternoon or evening. Uh, but this time, my son-in-law went and got a, an implement for his tractor and went and got it put on. And it took some time to get it back on his truck and trailer. <laughs> so it didn't fit. Yeah, it didn't fit very good. So anyway, we got back late and we didn't have a chance to get back into this. It was, it was kind of rough yesterday for Marcia. So hopefully the day will be a better day. We'll see how it goes. But <clears throat> I want to get this out before we get into uh, this is this is one we had for Tuesday. Let me get that in. Get that all set up here as far as it go down. Right here, we'll see. We'll get that all in there. That look like it. Okay. <coughs> and Harry, hang with us. It's kind of early this morning. All right. Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Blessed chosen, cherished, valued, and deeply loved by the happy God. From Unsearchable Riches, Volumes 112, pages 121 through 123, James Quorum writes, When we believe the evangel, we believe in Christ. Upon believing, we hear, we heard the word of truth, the evangel of our salvation. We are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. <laughs> Ephesians 1, 13. Nothing like being sealed, you know. Thus, we first accept or take along Christ as then you accepted Christ Jesus the Lord be walking in him Colossians 2 6 as well as the evangel that he died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was entombed and that he has been roused the third day according to the scriptures as 1 Corinthians 15 3 to 4 the, the Greek term accept is a compound expression para or beside and labano come into possession of from the key word concordance get in, entry get that reference is to that which one somehow comes had to have or to possess the apostle paul makes it plain that all ha we have whether riches health success understanding discipline willingness or faith is that which we have received from god Everything we possess is given to us by God. Even those things which we take to ourselves through much time and effort, He Himself gives to all life and breath and all. Acts 17 through 1725. As then you shall, you take along Christ Jesus the Lord, be treading and walking about in Him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make Him, it's, we become part of Him, see? From Knox's book, His Grandest Glories, page 84, we read, The same Christ who met us at the beginning of our new life will accompany us all the way. This first comes to mind, having this same confidence that he who undertakes a good work among you will be performing it until the day of Jesus Christ. In Philippians 1, verse 6. He is all we need for salvation, and he is more than sufficient for our walk. We should be rooted and grounded in him alone and not seek sustenance or support in anything else. We should be built up in him only and only and not seek edification in other means of grace. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and may it not and may it be the lot of each one of us to be standing firm in the Lord Philippians four one. In Christ, faith is a new is a secret now, at length revealed. While our hearts overflow with thankfulness for all that Christ is to us, the ecclesia, as well as thankfulness to His God and Father. We find this in Debar translation of Colossians two six as hence you have taken Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him. We use a concordant literal for these studies and references. Let's search through the treasures we find in Paul's evangel and see what comes up through them. Yeah, we, <laughs> it's, it's such a treasure to read these things. And to understand them is amazing. <clears throat> so, as in you accepted Christ Jesus the Lord, be walking in him. 
having been rooted and being built up in him and being confirmed in the faith according as you were taught, superabounding in its th- in it with thanksgiving. I am entreating you then, I, the prisoner in the Lord, to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all humility and meekness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit with the tie of peace. One body and one spirit, according as you were called also with one expectation of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all who is over all and through all in all. With Christ have I been crucified, yet I am living. No longer I, but living in me is Christ. Now that which I am living in flesh, I am living of the faith of the Son of God, who loves me and gives himself up for me. <clears throat> for you are observing your calling, brethren, that there are not many wise according to the flesh, not many powerful, not many noble, but the stupidity of the word of the world God chooses that he may be disgracing the wise, and weakness of the world God chooses that he may be disgracing the strong, and the ignoble, ignoble and the contemptible, contemptible things of the world God chooses, that which is not, that he should be discarding that which is so that no flesh at all should be boasting in God's sight. Yet you of him are in Christ Jesus, who came to us wisdom from God, besides righteousness and holiness and deliverance, that according as it is written, he who is boasting, and the Lord let him be boasting. For not by faith are we walking, for by faith we are walking, not by perception. If we may be living in spirit, in spirit we may be observing the elements also we may not become vainglorious challenging one another envying envying one another Mm -hmm. that your glory may be superbounding in Christ Jesus in me through my presence with you again only be citizens walking worthily of the evangel of Christ that were the coming and making your acquaintance or being absent I should be hearing of your concerns that you are standing firm in one spirit one soul competing together in the faith of the evangel. Become then then imitators of God as beloved children and be walking in love according as Christ also loves you and gives himself up for us an approach present and a sacrifice to God for a fragrant odor. Mm -hmm. (coughs) For the rest, brethren, we are asking you and treating you in the Lord Jesus that according as you accepted from us how you must be walking, and pleasing God, according as you're walking also, that you may be superbounding yet more. Put on then God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, pitiful compassions, kindness, humility, meekness, patience, and bearing with one another, and dealing graciously among yourself. If anyone should be ha- should be having a complaint against any, according as the Lord also deals gracious with the, graciously with you, thus also you. Now over all these, put on love, which is tie of maturity, and let the peace of Christ be arbitrating in your hearts, for which you were called also in one body, and become thankful. Let the word of Christ be making its home in you richly in all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to God, and everything whatsoever you may be doing, in word or in act, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Yeah, that's the references for Colossians 2, 6. For our realm is inherent in the heavens, out of which we are awaiting a Savior also, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transfigure the body of our humiliation to conform it to the body of his glory in accord with the operation which enables him even to subject all to himself. Philippians 3, 20 and 21. We love you all. Grace and peace <clears throat> to you, our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, this was an article that I, I was looking through my... Uh, I get a daily email from Clyde Pickleton, and this was in it. This was really neat. This is not my housekeeping. Uh, the Lord is good, Psalm 48 or 34 8 <clears throat> if I have a friend whom I know to be a good housekeeper I do not trouble over the fact that at house cleaning time things in her house may seem to be a, 
more or less upset. Carpet up, furniture shrouded in coverings, and even perhaps painting and decorating, making some rooms uninhabitable. And I say to myself, my friend is a good housekeeper. And although things look uh, so uncomfortable now, all this upset is because she means, in the end, to make it far more comfortable than ever it was before. <clears throat> this word, this world is God's housekeeping, and all the things at present look grievous, upset, yet since we know that he is good and therefore must be a good housekeeper, we may be perfect, sure, perfectly sure that all is present upset is only to bring about the end a far better state of things that could have been without it. Hmm. I dare say we have all felt at times as though we could have done God's housekeeping better than he does, than he does it himself. But when we realize that God is good, we can feel this no longer. And it comforts me enormously when the world seems to, be, seems to me to be going all wrong to say to myself, it is not my housekeeping, but it is the Lord's, and the Lord is good, and therefore his housekeeping must be good too, and it is foolish for me to trouble. That's uh, from Hannah Whittell Smith, 1832-1911. Anyway, I thought that was uh, important to see that. <clears throat> you know, we get in this life... Uh, and there's so much stuff that we're seeing around us now that's evil, just and we're re recognizing it. And we think, man, it's time. You'd have to be a fool not to. Yeah. And we think, and we, God, it's time. There's so much. How can it get any worse? Don't say that. <clears throat> right? Because it is. It gets worse and worse. And it hurts us to see it. But we got to realize that we're, this is God's. He has a plan. He's, he's working it out. Uh, and it's all coming out together uh, according to as he wills and, and makes it. And we are part of that plan. We've been given something amazing uh, through Paul's evangel. Uh, and that is to bring all darkness, to end all this through Christ, leading us as he's our head. To reconcile all back to our Father. And they're going to learn what evil is and it's here. But the thing is, it's going to also show what love is, what the agape love is. And all creatures, all great and small, everything, all creation is coming back into our Father uh, to be one with Him and to understand what true love is. So we need to focus on the things above, not things on the earth. <clears throat> all right? Yeah. So anyway... We love you guys. Love and, you too. Uh, appreciate you hanging out and waiting for me to get around. I'm not, I'm not even buttoned up. Uh, get around here and, and we'll get one out today for uh, the next verse so we stay on track. <laughs> so anyway, love you guys and we'll, we'll talk to you all later. See you then. Later. <laughs>